Hey everyone, welcome back to Projects with Paul. Uh, today my buddy's bringing over his landscape trailer and we're going to replace the coupler on the tongue. Uh, it's wore out and it won't latch onto the ball anymore. So he's going to get it over here. Uh, we're going to get that cut off. We're going to replace the coupler and the jack. The jack uh, is bent and it's just not, it's old. It needs to be replaced. So we're going to fire up the grinder and the welder and uh, get that thing pulled up to the container and get it fixed. It's one of these styles and it is completely welded all the way around. I started a cut on it so I just wanted to show you guys before I finish cutting it off. So go ahead and get going on that and uh, show you what it looks like after we get it off. And this jack's a little bit bent. Um, I might have hit it in the ground driving it through the yard so I'll probably go ahead and put a new jack on it as well. So let me get that cut off and then we'll see how it looks. All right, so a lot of cutting. And uh, this is what I use to cut with. It's a little four and a half inch angle grinder. Cutting wheel on there. <clears throat> and uh, so a lot of cutting all the way around the perimeter, a little bit of hammering and some prying with a pry bar and this is where we're at. Alright. All right, that unit's about had it, so. Get over here and we'll uh, clean this mess up and see what it's going to take to put a new jack and tongue on this. I got the old uh, hitch removed and all the old welds cleaned up. And then I got the new hitch and I started drilling up. I'm going to put one big half inch bolt on each side of it. And then I'm going to weld everywhere where I clean the paint off. So it'll be good and strong. And I got a new jack since I bent his old one. That's on me. So we got to clean this up a little bit more to get that jack to drop down in there, but not too much. So let me get this other hole drilled up over here, and we'll get that bolted on. Then we'll go ahead and weld it, get it painted up, and then we'll show you the progress. All right, so here's where we're at. I got the, the two big half-inch bolts installed. Um, I got a lock washer and a nut on the inside, one on both sides there. I got the paint ground off. I got one bolt in the tongue jack. I'm going to go ahead and weld three spots. Um, three spots where it will be easy to cut if it has to be replaced again. And I'm going to weld up the tongue itself here. So I'm going to get that welded and we'll see how it looks after I get it done. Alright, got it welded up. I pretty much just welded that all the way across the back there around the corner and then a little bit on each side and it's got those big bolts so I'm going to throw a little bit of paint on that and then I'll drop the uh, the new tongue jack in get all this painted up and I think we'll be done so I'll show you what it looks like when it's complete alright I got it all cleaned up and painted but guess what I forgot to do Still got to weld the tongue jack on. So I'm going to let this paint dry a little bit. And I marked it where I need to clean the paint back off. I already had the welder put away. Extension cord put away. So I drug everything back out. And uh, we'll get this welded on. And then we'll be done. And then, uh, but yeah, the weld job turned out pretty good. Paint job turned out good. We'll have to redo some of it. But... We'll get that tongue jack welded and bolted in there and see how it looks. All right, here's the finished product. Got the new coupler welded on. Got the new tongue jack welded on. I was able to use the old foot off the old one. They don't come with a new foot, so I did have to drill a new hole on both sides. Tongue jack's welded, one bolt. Two grade eight half inch bolts on the front of the coupler, solid welded all the way across the back. 
down the corner and a little bit on both sides. So there you go. I got it hooked back up to his truck, for, ready for him to come pick it up. Another simple, fairly simple project. It's a beautiful day to work outside anyway. So thanks again for watching Projects with Paul, and we'll see you guys next time.